Hi right, guys, welcome to Pagan Outdoors. Now, as usual, for these camps this time of year, sort of set up in the dark, we've already been, excuse me a minute, we've already been, had some food, a few, bit of mulled wine, around the campfire, as you can see. It's a tad chilly. Now, I think it's about 11 o'clock. Um, it's about minus three at the moment, which, given the grand scheme of things, ain't too bad really for nearly mid-December. So, but yeah, no, it's been a cracking evening. Plenty of good laughs, stuff that I cannot put on YouTube, unfortunately. So I'd probably get a strike against my name. But, yeah, one day maybe I'll put it up. But yeah, no, plenty of good laughs. Um, we saw Bernard's on this camp, so you'll see him tomorrow. Um, excuse me. And uh, yeah, it's uh, all just settling in for the night. I'll show you all the rig and whatnot in the morning. So if um, now it's getting proper cold, I'll set me tarp up in house, what I call house mode. So I'll show you that in the morning. Helps to try and keep the heat in a bit and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, this is Christmas bushcraft camp for the Nuts and Derby bushcraft group. So, and I think I'm going to rename it the, uh, the Americans call it the Frozen Butt Hang. So, I think the British version is freezing your ass off hang I reckon so let me know in the comments below if we like the, the British version or the American version better but um yeah it's I mean I'll be toasting my sleep system so um as the Americans do in there with their sleep systems but quite like the name um but yeah no it's been a really good evening got uh tomorrow I'll probably do some Hopefully do a bit of spoon carving maybe. Um, we've got to uh, be cooking a Christmas dinner over the fire tomorrow evening. So I might try and get some video in done of that if possible um, for a change. I know I don't normally film too much around the other mem group members. But I may try and do some for this um, video if possible. And if I remember. Um, yeah. Definitely, uh, I mean, for the last couple of hours it's sort of been about minus two, but the last half hour, hour, temperature's gone down another degree, possibly even more by now. So, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's winter, so I just, I mean, it's going to be cold. So, but yeah, looking forward to this camp, should be a good one. Well, it's been a good evening already, so... And tomorrow night, I think we've got some more people turning... Well, we've got some more people turning up during the day tomorrow um, to camp tomorrow night as well, so there'll be more of us. So, that should be fun. So... But, yeah, it's... Uh, I think it's good. It should be... Well, they're always good camps. So... I expect this one to be quite cool, being, Chris, being the Christmas camp, so... So we got Christmas crackers to pull and uh, as well as sort of bits and bobs before the main the main meal and dessert and all the rest of it. So uh, shall I get some pictures and say a little bit of video if I can of that? So but yeah, no, definitely a bit on the uh, chilly side. So but I'll leave you guys with it. I'm gonna get all zipped up and snuggled in and I'll see you guys in the morning. Catch you later. Hello guys. 
it's sort of mid morning now, so what I do is I'll show you uh, mine and my son set up. So in the, show you in the background there, you can see the uh, canopy we got with the fire around it. A few of the members having a good old chin whack. So what I do, I'll spin you around and uh, I'll show you the uh, the setup. All right. So here's my setup, got a DD 4x4, set it in what I call house mode, so I've put one side out, what it is I'll take around, I think you've seen this before, I'll close one end off and I've just secured my water bottle at Ridge Monkey on the, to the tree. Um, what I do, you notice I pull the sides out and um, I'll take you around the other side I'll show, you, show you this side you can see I pulled it out there as well so when you look inside you can see both sides are pulled out and you've got a ton of room either side of the hammock so I've got my me, me ruck uh, the dry bags and bits bivy table, some drinks food bag, little mat for treading out of the hammock on, normal hammock rig set up, all sorted and was toasty last night so I'll bring you back a bit and there we go, see that between the two trees and then go round to this end as you can see, closed it off, hence why I call it house mode. Keep this time of year when it's really cold, especially when there's when there's no winter day or rain or snow or anything, but when it's really inclement, this is like best setup uh, I think for winter time. So you can see and pegged down all sorted I mean once again in this cracking woodland the sun coming through absolutely epic woodland so there's the hot water uh, the old I don't know what they're called a water station, so the big hammock, everyone else set up over there. There's my son set up. So he said he's up slightly different, he's got the far ends closed off, and then he comes in this end. He's kept his end open a bit, open a bit more, and yeah, he's in there, a similar sort of setup. So, but yeah. <sighs> what a beautiful day. Everyone else, we've got a couple in Dutch army tents and the rest in hammocks. So, but absolutely beautiful day. Right, I'll catch you guys later on. Bye. Hi guys, so Sunday morning, um, I've been show packed away because uh, it is rather cold and damp uh, plus I had to try and hurry up and get packed up while well, me, me and Bernard and uh, Laurie from New Camping Man so being near Christmas, there's lots of Christmassy stuff to do for the rest of the day so no hanging around this morning so 
I might just finish this one off in the car quickly. So, I had an amazing camp. Christmas uh, dinner last night was absolutely superb. Um, everyone chipped in to help uh, cook it. Um, yeah, it was cracking uh, sort of mince pies and brandy, brandy sauce on, um, which were epic as well. We had Chris, we had sort of Quality Street, Tinder Quality Street, biscuits, loads of bottles of mulled wine. So, yeah, brilliant one. So, love and light, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.